and we have to ask ourselves what is our strategy to um, to retain those customers to ensure that that relationship is working as well as it should do. Welcome back. I'm here with Kean McLaughlin. Kean's a guru in win loss analysis, and I've just found out he's a guru in customer retention as well. He's also an author, a speaker, uh, and, a, and a great advisor consultant to the sales fraternity. Welcome. Thanks, John. Nice to be here. Kean, tell me a little bit about retention. What you obviously do a lot of work in win loss. Mm -hmm. Is that related to customer retention, and what should we be doing? to ensure we retain our, our customers? Yeah. Look, it's a great question. The thing about win-loss is that invariably it happens at the end of the sales process. We want to win-loss and we want to understand what happened and why and what can we learn from it. But, you know, I think we need to recognize that we have a whole group, hopefully, of existing customers. And, and we have to ask ourselves, what is our strategy to, um, to retain those customers to ensure that that relationship is working as well as it should do? Mm. Particularly when some, uh, some customers are on a, a three-year contract or a four- or five-year contract, what, what's our strategy to mitigate the risk of them going out to the market again, them moving to a competitor? Um, and and the, the win-loss process can actually play a really integral role in, in helping us to do that. In what way? Well, so, so win-loss is really about taking quantitative and qualitative questions and saying, mm -hmm. what happened? Let me understand, et cetera, et cetera. So you just change the tense from past tense to present tense. What is happening? How are we tracking? What are you enjoying? What are we doing well? Where is there gaps? Where is the hole? What could we do differently? Um, and it's having a different conversation with the customer than the one we might be having with them day to day. I've done a lot of work in that sort of area too, and I think that the real knowledge that we often forget to look at, to me, customer satisfaction is not the measure. No, I agree. Right? It's the customer's perception of value they get through the relationship, and measuring the customer perception of value and getting feedback on that is vital to me. I, I, look, I couldn't agree more, and it's interesting. So people, another question that, that I get asked quite frequently is, well, why would, we, why would we use a third party to do that versus doing it ourselves? And my response is, do it yourselves. Um, if you're not doing it, do it yourself. Um, be that win-loss or, or that actually, what are we doing from a retention perspective? The reason why some organizations like to bring in a, a third party is because it creates a little bit of separation. So it allows the customer sometimes to be a little bit more frank, a little bit more candid in their feedback because they're not speaking directly to the person the feedback's about or to the organization it's about. But also what it does is it allows the vendor to, to then take that feedback and it removes maybe some of the you know, the political implications or some of the, um, you know, the trickiness of feeding that back into an organization and says, how can we act on this? I've actually experienced we're doing it externally, but also if it needs to be done internally, using people that are independent of the relationship Correct. with that particular customer Absolutely. to actually have that discussion with the customer. Agree. Yeah. Whether it's internal or external, you get someone who isn't related day to day to that particular customer, uh, create a little bit of separation and you're going to get much more valuable insight um, on that basis. Throw something, in, a curveball in there. Okay. One of the things I've found mm -hmm. is often if the sales account manager sits in the meeting but absolute silence, the customer is still, in most cases, reasonably comfortable and they follow a process that's being run by an independent person. And they, the customer gets value because they know the sales account manager has heard very clearly without responding and reacting. Sure. What the, the thoughts in their mind, the top of mind. So that's that's interesting. I haven't I haven't ever been on on the uh, receiving side of that. But what I have observed a lot is that the feedback about the account managers is invariably pretty good. You know, uh, not always, but a, a, a lot of the times I say, look, you know, they're responsive, um, they listen, they're proactive. Um, where there are issues, sometimes it's further up the food chain or it relates to, to something outside of the control of the account manager, be it be it price or product or or something else. Um, so, yeah, I can certainly see the value. Uh, and, and the customer certainly needs the opportunity to say, hey, this time I don't want the account manager in the meeting. Yeah. Th there may be reasons for that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And there's one other point as well, which is that I say to organizations, don't do this if you're not going to act on, on, the, on the feedback. Because it's actually what you're doing is you're highlighting potentially a, a negative, which is fine so long as you say, we're going to go ahead and we're going to address this and we, we, you know, we take your feedback very seriously. And then the customer can see the action. Don't, don't highlight it if you're not going to do something about it. A couple of issues that I've seen is, is people are afraid to ask the question because if you're going to do this properly, you're not going to respond or react to the, custo to the customer in that meeting. Correct. And the customer set can set expectations that we, uh, to, to achieve something we're not, going to, we're not willing to achieve. That's absolutely right. 
However, we need to hear that. We need to get it on the table, get the elephant out of the room. Yes, right? that's right. Uh, and then we can go back and say, well, what your, your expectation is is something we can't deliver to, but let's... But maybe we can do this, or maybe we can do this. Exactly. And the fact that they've been heard and the fact that you've actually responded to them and taken the time to do that is, is huge. Absolutely. Really, really important stuff. Mm. Thanks very much for your feedback on that, Ken. Pleasure, sir.